billionaire investor Paul Tudor Jones is about to go all in Bitcoin. Guys, Bitcoin has been going down recently. We went down below $27,000 and a lot of people are panicking with the conflict in the Middle East right now and across the world. But the question is, is there more to this actually? Is there something that we are all missing that the smartest and best investors in the world are actually going to take advantage of? Today, I am going to show you what this all means. Why is he about to accumulate a lot of Bitcoin? Well, I will go through everything in this video. I will let you know exactly what's been happening here recently for Bitcoin, Ethereum on the charts, what's been happening with oil and much more. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's talk about Bitcoin on the four hourly time frame. And what you can see is that since breaking down from this orange line at 27,400 approximately, we have had a big red candle towards the downside. We tapped below $27,000. And since then, we've had a little bit of a bounce here. So you can see that we are finding some support of a previous consolidation level here as well. Uh, but for Bitcoin right now, the question is, does it make sense for Bitcoin to go down in these circumstances? Well, I will talk about that in a little bit. So also for Ethereum, Ethereum has really been going down quite significantly here recently. During the last week or so, Ethereum has actually gone down by 13%. So Ethereum is having a bad time. Also the Ethereum Foundation and Vitalik are selling Ethereum. So yeah, and also the FTX hacker was selling a lot of Ethereum. So this kind of killed some of the momentum we had going up towards 1,762. And if you look at Ethereum to Bitcoin, you can see that Ethereum compared to Bitcoin is also breaking down from this massive wedge here. So that is not a good sign. This is on the weekly time frame. So this is a longer term chart. This has been forming since August of 2022, so more than one year this wedge has been forming. So we really want to rally up here. We want Ethereum to slightly outperform Bitcoin so that we can get back into this wedge because we really do not want to close this weekly candle below this wedge. That is going to signal some more downside for Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. Now for the S&P 500, and this is the interesting thing, the S&P 500 has really not been doing that bad after the war and all of the conflicts started to happen last weekend. And uh, as the traditional markets, the S&P 500 specifically has been going up, Bitcoin has been trending down. Now, there has been a point previously where the S&P 500 went down and Bitcoin actually went up. So maybe it is just Bitcoin trying to catch up here. But it is interesting that you are kind of seeing them go in opposite directions Uh we saw it in the upper side direction when Bitcoin was going up and we see it now when Bitcoin is going down, the S&P 500 is going up. So that is something to pay attention to. When it comes to oil, oil is still going sideways here. So yeah, nothing new to report here. I think everyone is just holding their breath right now. No one wants the conflict to completely escalate because that could have disastrous effects. In fact, as you know, yesterday I did write a thread and I also covered it on my video yesterday how the oil price has been reacting to previous major conflicts. So make sure to go back and watch that if you haven't done so. Now, there are some major things happening. The first thing is that legendary billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones said that the current geopolitical risks makes it difficult to own stocks but that he loves Bitcoin and gold. This is the exact quote. I can't low stocks, he said, but I love Bitcoin and gold. Now, if some of the largest Bitcoin, sorry, if some of the largest hedge fund managers and billionaires in the world are starting to believe in Bitcoin in these kind of circumstances, that signals a trend shift because Bitcoin has been seen as a risk asset, right? Stocks have been seen as more safe assets. But Paul Tudor Jones is actually arguing the opposite. Now, just for reference, Paul Tudor Jones has made his wealth by being spot on with his macro trades. So when it comes to things like these, like on interest rates and currencies, he knows what he is doing. Now, if we go down here actually to this article, you can see some quotes here and what he said and why he is bullish on Bitcoin. So first, it's a really challenging time to want to be an equity investor and in US stocks right now. 
you've got the geopolitical uncertainty. The United States is probably in its weakest fiscal position since certainly World War II with debt to GDP at 122%. So that's the first thing to take note of. But from a personal standpoint, would I be investing in risk assets now and stocks until I saw what the resolution was with Israel and Iran? Israel is going to respond in some way, shape or form. The determination of whether Iran was actually responsible is enormous because, again, it has the possibility to really escalate into something terrible. So notice how he says here that he would not be uh, investing in risk assets, which traditionally other investors consider Bitcoin a risk asset, but he does not. He considers stocks actually more risky than Bitcoin and that Bitcoin and gold is something that he loves in these kind of circumstances. So maybe, maybe, even if things start to escalate, Bitcoin could be the saving grace for a lot of people, pushing the demand for Bitcoin, pushing the prices higher. Now, from a market perspective, of course, this is what we're talking about on this channel. Of course, no one wants to see an escalation of this. No one wants to see a massive war or something in the in the lines of what's uh, potentially going to happen. Um, but here's the thing. For the investment part of this, this is what he's betting on, that Bitcoin can actually, in this kind of environment, be a good investment apart from stocks and, and other assets as well. Now, Paul Tudor Jones, just as a reminder, went heavy into Bitcoin. Well, heavy. It's 1% to 2% of his assets he went in in 2020. That was right before the bull run, right? Or in the middle of the bull run, but before the parabolic phase. So we already have proof here that even with Bitcoin, he has been co correct, absolutely correct previously. So there is a reason why is one of the massive traders, one of the massive billionaires, $8.1 billion net worth due to his skills in trading. So this is definitely something we need to take note of. If he is going into Bitcoin, why are you selling it right now, despite the kind of circumstances that's happening all across the world. Now, one major thing also happening with China, because China are actually going in the opposite direction when it comes to their monetary policy. So this is what they've done in the last three months. Unexpectedly cut rates by the most amount since 2020. They've removed 50% of their stock trade tax. They have uh, considered making it illegal to short stocks. They have lowered rates on $5.3 trillion worth of mortgages for the first time since 2008. Uh, and you can just go down, down the line here. So they are basically going the complete opposite direction of what's happening in the West. They are trying to stimulate the economy. They're cutting rates. They're printing money. Reportedly, they're planning a new stimulus package as well. So what is happening in China? Well, China seems to be in a completely different economic backdrop than the U.S., while they are cutting rates and stimulating the economy, the Fed is saying higher rates for longer. We expect more volatility in 2024. So, of course, we're keeping an eye on, on this, guys. But just as a reminder, I, sh I posted this thread a couple of minutes ago showing us the liquidity. I've been talking about this on YouTube as well. Showing how the liquidity tends to be the driving factor for the Bitcoin price. So, if you see more liquidity from China, that could drive the Bitcoin prices higher as well. Guys... I am still a massive believer of Bitcoin, and I still think that over time, Bitcoin is going to perform tremendously well. Yes, there's going to be volatility. Yes, we're prepared for that. In fact, the longer this uh, conflict goes on for the next few days, you might even see Bitcoin drop down to 26400 But over time, just like Paul Tudor Jones believes, I do believe that Bitcoin is going to trend upwards no matter the kind of uh, macroeconomical circumstances. Guys, this is what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.